honestly, I don't know what he's actually done. It's true, I'm not proving myself, but this is why I've been asking for this fight for a long time. His first 10 fights have been nobody's prediction. Simpson, mid late stoppage. Hey, up, I'll see you in Barnsley. I'm going to knock you out in front of all my Barnsley fans. Callum Simpson back with a bang and sets up a British title fight with Zach Chelly. Let's go, Chelly, let's go. And there's the power, Zach Chelly. We promised him a trip to Barnsley. Zach Chelly's always game. Wants the smoke, wants the big fights. It's just a great British title fight. May the best man win. As a Muslim, every Friday you got to go to the mosque and do the Friday prayer, um, where the Imam would usually do a speak, and you'll speak religiously about, you know, how to treat people, treat people kindly. Like, for example, last week I was talking about have faith in God. How when Moses went to the sea, and there's the army of the Pharaoh chasing him up behind him, he stayed calm and had faith in God. Just put stuff in the sea and saluted the sea, and all the all the Jews uh, felt safe and crossed the sea. Um, and that's what I say when I put my, my box in. I trust God, put faith in God, I train hard, I put my faith in God and God willing I'll have that victory. There's always a bigger picture. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the main guy, the, the, the main, you know, Allah's the main guy um, up there and I always put my faith in God and no matter what happens, I know it's God's plan and that's the best plan. Callum Simpson, I'm going to knock you out. <laughs> Inshallah. Yeah, uh, Zaki prepared very good. Yeah. Uh, I'm not surprised, Zaki will knock him out. Off to the gym now. Morning run, Friday prayer, now time for some boxing. Zach, we've uh, spent the day with you in the mosque firstly yeah. and training secondly, working hard. How's the camp been? It's been great, a great camp, feeling really stronger and fitter than ever before. What have you been working on specifically? How to knock out Simpson, special shots. Callum, in the camp with you, um, big fight coming up for you. How's the camp been? Camp's gone great, mate. Camp's gone great, you know. I've just done a bit of tech, tech sparring this morning. I've uh, got a chat session coming up later on, but yeah, camp's gone, camp's gone amazing. Feeling good, feeling fit. Looking forward to fight night. British and Commonwealth titles on the line. Uh, what would it mean to win those? I mean everything, mate. I mean everything, you know. Since our amateur, back in my old amateur gym, my coach always said, I'd, you know, even when I were young, that I'd become a British, that at least a British champion. And it's quite, it's quite old, John, so he, he always said he hopes it happens in his, in his lifetime and, it, and he's going to be sat there ringside, so that, 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 that'll mean a lot to me uh, when, I, when I win and lift them belts. Um, but yeah, so no, and obviously for me it's just, a, just another step, another step, you know, British and Commonwealth um, next and then just like, yeah, yeah, another step in my career. What would it mean to retain uh, the British and, and what would it mean to oh, There's to a plan, it would be the, the plan that I've been training for. I see no other option. And that's the only one I go go for and I keep my belt. I'm going to go up there just to give it to him. <laughs> no, it's, it's impossible. Is it a harder task going up there to Barnsley? No, I think the ring's a ring and it always, it always in the ring. And uh, I ignore everything that's outside. I, I do notice it afterwards. The biggest regret of mine is never fully like, noticing all of it once it's over. But I think when you're so in the moment, you just forget about everything else and just focus on your fight. We've earned the right to, to put this kind of event on. You know, the, the support that I've had over the past well, it's all my boxing career, especially over the past 12 months, especially like from the club and the people in Barnsley, you know, we've earned the right to put this kind of event on. There's not many boxers that I could think of in the UK that could that could be able to stage this kind of event, you know. And even when it were a massive risk for boxers and Sky putting it on and the club, they didn't know how well it was going to sell. And then we sold we sold out within 40 hours, so it just shows that it's not it's not to be an event for the for the domestic for the British title. Do you rate him as a fighter? Honestly, I don't know what he's actually done. Um, he's, he's gone to Canada, done a bit of sparring with that world champion, and then he's got some recognition from that. His first 10 fights have been nobody's. And then he's fought in Sky. I mean, look at his last fight. Who did he fight? Some guy from Africa with uh, like 30 losses. And he was like, he was really happy about that. That, that, that's, that's surprising for me, yeah. Do you rate him as a fighter? Um, to, to an extent, yeah, to an extent. Um, as, as a fighter, not so much as a boxer, you know, he's, do, he's done well, what he's done so far. You know, a great achievement in the British, British Commonwealth title. Um, probably the worst British title fight I've ever seen, but, you know, he still, he still won it. Do you think that people underestimate you as a fighter? Yeah, most definitely. A lot of people think I'm just power, I just attack, and I'm just aggressive. But when they see once in the ring, I'm actually hard to catch. Chelly's strengths are, 
probably his awkwardness, his first strength is obviously going to be very, very fit. Um, but yeah, that's great. It just, but the thing with Chelsea is the same thing every time, every single time. You know, we've actually been working with a Barnsley Football Club like a data analysis team, and we've just got every, like broken him down, like and everything, every single fight. We've watched his last six fights, and even since he started with a new trainer, he does the same thing. Every single, he does the same free kind of attack, same counters, same defense, and it's just the same Chelsea, and he's never going to change. Well, look, he's been working for me, hasn't it? So. You know what they say, if, it does not, doesn't, if it's nothing wrong with it, don't change it. Uh, and there you go, that's his, that's his downfall. He's going he's gonna to think it's the same, but once you're in the ring, you'll notice it's different. Every, every opponent does a different little thing. And yeah, they've been working though, on the British and Combo champions, so why change? What have you identified in Callum that you think you can exploit? He tries to be like a basic boxer, uh, with straight one too, but then once, he gets, once you get close to him, he just, he's a bit messy. And I believe I'll take advantage of that. Zach was almost a Fulham fan, why didn't he block? You are. Yes. You are. Oh, you look cute, y'all, please. Fuck, you're white ears, man. It's only one team in my son, isn't it? And the new. Zach! Yeah. Shelley! Do you feel pressure? And if you do, how will you deal with it? No, no, all I keep asking, I keep getting asked this question. And for me, there isn't any pressure. It's just this is what I've worked so hard for, like, since I was nine years old when I started boxing. This is what I've worked for. And I'm, you know, I'm very confident in my ability and how hard I train and, uh, and what I can do with my team. And yeah, so there's, there's no pressure really. It's just about going in there and enjoying it and proving myself and my team right. 7,000 fans will be in there. Um, yeah. There's a lot of interest in this fight. Maybe tipping towards fans for him, obviously, at his, yeah. his home ground of Oakwell. Mm. Um, how will you deal with that pressure? How will you deal with that scenario? Well, I, I, as I said, when I get in the ring, I ignore all of it. Um, after the fight, I'll take it all in. I'll take in the silence. Because obviously, once he's sleeping on the floor, there's going to be a lot of shock and silence. And then what's last one, that burrito? Nah. What is it now? Creme de la creme, mate. Oh, is that a crumb? Bit of rice, bit of donut, bit of salad. I might have an onion off of that. I might have, I might have an onion. No, you can't. It's got too much fat on it. I'm telling you now. Oh, I tell you what to eat, you don't tell me. Joke. Fight week. <laughs> <laughs> Danny, you're down here in Callum Simpson's training camp. Uh, Posing as his new nutritionist. I ain't posing like... for no mate, if I'm honest with you. I'm down here supporting Callum, you know, giving him all the support he needs, giving him a few pointers on what he needs to eat. Well, I'm doing good. What you put in, makes you what you are. Winning is grinning, pal. Come on, Nacho, Nacho, man. What's what I do? This is it. Is this the win? Yes, one, two, one, two. What, what? What, like a butterfly thing like a give up? Yes. <laughs> hey, you like what you see? Mate, the full were great, but Callum's even better. No, no, I've been watching him sparring there. Absolutely bang on. Uh, you know, I think he's going to smash this. I know it. I've got all confidence in him. He's got all the Barnsley behind him. He's got all the North behind him. So, yeah, I, you know, confident, more than confident. Well done, pal. You've done absolutely cracking. Get you send some of that down, yeah? Cheers, mate. I'm off. We don't know Jelly Belly on your lad. Come on. What three words would you use to describe Chelly as a fighter? Awkward, game, and uh, repetitive. Zach Chelly! What three words would you use to describe him as a fighter? Delusional, arrogant. I'll leave the last one out. I would leave it as a Barnsley man. This fight, oh, and down he shot. goes! Huge right hand from Simpson, but that's all she wrote. Callum Simpson, now you know! Give us a prediction then. How would the fight end? Prediction. Any way I, I see fit on the night. Simpson, middle late stoppage. And I'm sure we'll have a beautiful fight, a fair fight, where the fans will eventually have seen how it happens in um, Rocky when he goes to Russia. All the fans end up supporting Rocky. That's the same here, I'm Italian Stallion. I am half Italian, so. <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm looking past Chile, but I am, yeah, I'm looking past Chile, but I'm not underestimating, I'm not underestimating at all. Um, I think after this, you know, I'd love to win the British outright, um, whether it's made mandatory. I want, to be, I want to be able to prove that I am the best in, in Britain. You know, when I want to win that British title, and I don't want people to be able to say, oh, I think this guy will beat Callum, I think this kid will beat Callum. I want it to be clear cut, Callum is, is the best. People keep saying I'm not, I'm not proving myself yet, which is true, I'm not proving myself, but and Chelly said, I'm not proving myself, but this is why I've been asking for this fight for a long time, and it's finally here. So yeah, this is my time. This is my time to prove myself. And finally, you got a message to Zach ahead of the fight. I told him before, make, make sure you polish my belts before you bring them up. I want them nice and shiny when I when I raise them. 
on the 3rd of August. I'm focused on Callum Simpson, I'm not, I'm not going to focus on anyone else. Uh, once Callum Simpson's done, then we'll look at other things, but I do believe as the British champion and defend it once, it would be time to move on to bigger, better things. Of course, Callum Simpson is in the way and that's the guy I'm going to have to knock out to move forward. Can you knock him out? I believe I can, with a left and a right, so no problem. Hey up, I'll see you in Barnsley and I'm going to knock you out in front of all my Barnsley fans.